In this lesson, we will look at Nime, K N I M E, a uh, hugely popular open source free data mining platform. Now, the first question is there are so many tools out there. Why are we starting with Nime? Why Nime? Well, if you look at it, despite its very short history, it's already a market leader according to Gartner's Magic Quadrant for analytics platforms. The upper right quadrant is where the leaders are located. Left of it are the challengers. Gartner is one of the well-known business management consultancy company out there that does extensive research on mostly information management and technical field and then produces reports that everybody goes back and reference to. So one of their routine practice is to release these quadrants in different subsections of information technology. And one of those is the advanced analytics platforms where all of the data mining analytics tools are rated and classified. So as you can see on the leaders quadrant, leaders are the ones who are at the upper echelon of completeness of their vision, as well as ability to execute against their vision. So they know what they're doing and they're successful at doing it in generating interest in their tools and platforms. Here, as you can see, there are three commercial tools, SaaS, IBM, and Dell. Dell purchased Statsoft. Statsoft had the data mining tool called Statistica. So that's how they made it into the leaders quadrant. Out of the three commercial tools, there are two popular open source free data mining platforms. One is Nine and the other one is Rapid Miner. By the way, this particular quadrant was released in February 2016. It's very recent. It shows the importance of free open source tools along with some of the commercially viable market leading analytics platforms. So this is what we're gonna look at. So why Nine? It's free, it's open source, so you don't have to pay for it. Anybody and everybody can acquire it. It has a appealing graphical user interface. Everything is logically laid out to find and use, as you will see in a few minutes. It's very, very rich in analytics capabilities. Not only does the data mining and predictive modeling, but also has tools and modules that does descriptive and prescriptive analytics. This particular tool does not enforce limits on the data size that you can use, the memory that you can utilize in your computer, or the functionality that's available to the end users. Even though it's free, it can be used for commercial purposes. One additional benefit of NIME, along with actually Rapid Miner, is that both of these free open source tools are platform agnostic. That means they run natively both on Microsoft operating system as well as Apple operating systems. And it is available at nime.org website. Let's go to website and see how we can download the tool. This is the website and this is the download link. But before we download it, you might wanna start with the link that says getting started you will find a whole lot of information about how to install it, which is straightforward. You just, especially for Microsoft environment, you download the single file and you execute it. It has uh, instructions on how to install it in different platforms. It has uh, video tutorials. There is a learning hub that has a lot of information for the newcomers to get it started. I uh, highly recommend you to go through some of these freely accessible resources. The tool that you will be downloading is called Nime Analytics Platform. Once you download it, if you go to the download side, what it will do is that it will ask you for your name, your email, and some of the other basic information. And then when you submit those information, it will download the installation files for you. Once you download and execute it, it will generate a program that has a icon of this yellow triangle. Let me click on it and open the tool. This is the latest version. 
as soon as you launch NIME, it says, where do you want to store the intermediate and finalized project files? So it lets you designate a folder where all the files will be saved so that you can package it and distribute it if you wanted to. I'm gonna use the default setting on that one. And the current version is 3.1.1, which was released end of January 2016. The reason that it takes a little more than usual to launch on my computer is because I'm using a lot of extensions. I'm using text mining extensions, I'm using social media extensions, and then you can get to those extensions if you go to help and then install extensions, it will allow you to do that. You can actually import the workflows that are distributed to you or sent to you from someone else. You can change the preferences and then this is where actually you search and install different extensions. When you click on it, it will launch the extension dialog box and it will let you pick the popular ones or do a search and install the ones that you will be using for your specific data mining or descriptive analytics projects and tests. As you can see, everything's kind of laid out in panes. On the upper left corner, you have your repository of projects. NIME comes with a ton of examples. So you can actually start with an example and then use the example as a starting point to build your own project for data mining. And the second category stores all of your local projects. You can name them any which way that you want. Okay, or you can create your own new project, which we are gonna do in a few minutes just to show you how you can drag and drop modules to create a data mining structure and then be able to execute and look at the prediction results. Extensions are being collected. What it's doing is that it's going into its repository, figuring out what extensions that I have not installed, and there are hundreds of them, and then organizing them in such a manner to present them back to me so that I can install some of those additional extensions to my workspace. Here you can search for extensions. Here are the categories of ex extensions that you can download and make part of your data mining platform. So I'm gonna close this without installing anything because I already have the extensions that I need for demonstration purposes. So here on the NIME welcome screen, you can scroll down and say, find create new workflow, or you can go to file and say new, and new workflow is what you wanna create. You say next, it says what name do you wanna give? We'll call it Live Lessons Demo 1. Okay, it's going to store it on my local directory. And then I'm going to say Finish. It will open up a brand new workflow pane for me to drag and drop modules. Most every data mining project will start with reading the data. So data is read by this I.O. Input Output Module Read File Reader. This file reader reads all the text in ASCII data files. If you double click on it, you can browse to your data sources and then grab, let's say, let's use Iris. Iris is a flower classification data set, hugely popular in uh, academic circles for demonstration purposes. There are four different measures, numeric measures for the flowers, spell, length, spell width, petal length, and petal width. Based on that, there are three different classes of flowers. So using the measures, creating mathematical algorithms to map it into and identify the flower type, the class of the flower. In this case, we're gonna take it as this. We read it as a CSV file. Let's say apply and then okay. As soon as you apply and say okay, the red at the bottom of the icon turns into yellow. That means it's already read. You can actually execute it, and then you can look at the file type, what it has read, and interpret it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a decision tree, let's say. Let's go to analytics, data mining, and then let's go to decision tree and grab a simple 
decision tree learner, link it, the data to the learner, double click on the learner. Class is the, the label that we're trying to predict. This is one of the variables. And it actually only shows you the variables that has nominal values. We'll talk about that in the next lesson. And then what quality measures it's using. We will talk about the specifics of this dialog box when we cover decision trees in more detail. So for time being, we're gonna say apply. As soon as I said apply, red turned into yellow. That means everything is defined properly. And I say, okay. Now this module creates the decision tree. And I also want to use this model to predict the decision tree outcome. So I'm gonna connect the model. This is the progression of the model from the learner into the predictor. And this is the data that I'm connecting to the predictor. So I'm using the same data set for model building as well as for model testing. And I right click and I say execute and open the view. It executes, it creates the model in a decision tree environment. You can actually expand them. We will again talk more about what this decision tree is telling us when we cover decision tree. But for time being, I'm gonna go back to my functions and then go to scoring to see how good this decision tree is predicting the data set that's presented to it. So I'm gonna grab my scorer, drop it here, connect the output into scorer, I'll go to configure, my class is labeled as class in the data set, and the prediction is the prediction of the class. Okay, everything is defined properly. I right click and I say execute and open the view, and it gives me the confusion matrix. As you can see, out of Iris Centosa, one of the three flower types, all 50 of them are predicted accurately iris versicolor. 49 out of 50 is accurately predicted versus iris virginica. 48 out of 50 is properly and accurately predicted by the decision tree. Again, we're gonna talk about confusion matrix and uh, metrics that we use to judge the accuracy of classification models in the future lessons. So for now, I think this is a good introduction to what NIME is and what it does and where you can find more resources to learn more about NIME and be able to use it for your own data mining projects. So that was a quick introduction to NIME, a very powerful open source free data mining platform. And uh, you know now what you need to know to start your own data mining project using NIME.